people, this is Charmaine and welcome to another video. So for today, I'm going to talk about my 2021 Bexang Awards prediction. It's going to be held uh, virtually, um, uh, sponsored by JTBC on May 13 because of the pandemic. So they just want to uh, make sure that no one is going to be uh, affected. Before that, I just want to congratulate Yon Yojong for winning Best Supporting Actress for the 2021 Oscars. So she is the first Korean and the second Asian to win the prestigious award. And also, um, yeah, it's a sad day for South Koreans as well as the international fans of Lee Kwang Soo because after 11 years, he will gonna quit Running Man and I think his last filming is on May 24. So he has um, ankle injury brought about by his accidents previously. So I'm just hoping for his fast recovery and blessings to his future endeavors. And also actress uh, John Jung Ha of Beyond Evil and Mouse passed away at the age of 52. So without further ado, let's start with uh, Bexing Hours. Actually, uh, virtual, he held it in a virtual uh, by JTBC. And uh, it's on May 13, hindi ko alam kung anong oras. But for the best drama, the nominees are uh, Beyond Evil, It's Okay to Not Be Okay, Flower of Evil, Unfamiliar Family, and Extra Colicular. Um, Ililimit ko lang yung um, predictions ko for the TV category because as you all know, it's pandemic and we still not allowed to go to the movie theaters because of the, you know, surge, if ever. Anyway, so sa tingin ko naman, ang mag ng trophy is it's okay uh, to not be okay. That is just my opinion because it's a very, very nice movie though hindi siya na great sa Korea. It was popular on Netflix. It was popular internationally. The cinematography, the plot, and then lahat yung animation niya is it's one of a kind. And also the actresses. Si Kim Soyeon, Soye J ang Ujong Se, they delivered it well. So I think it's a competition between It's Okay to Not Be Okay and uh, Flower of Evil. Flower of Evil gusto ko din kasi it has a lot of like twists and turns. But I really think and hope that It's Okay to Not Be Okay we're gonna win the award. For the best variety show, I think it will gonna be uh, uh, Sing Again kasi ito yung parang famous sa Korea. And then best educational show is the story of that day. Yun yung, ano, yung prediction ko lang. And then for the best new actress category, um, Kim Hyu, Kim Yun So, I watched her before in uh, My Love from Another Star. Siya yung younger version ni, uh, so, um, ni Jun Ji Yun. And then she grew up really, really pretty. I believe that she will gonna take home the trophy. And also, I have high hopes um, for Park Yu Yong. But for me, ang bet ko is si Kim Yun So. Best male entertainer, though I really like Moon Si Yun to win, kasi matagal na siya ng debut, pero he wasn't given the opportunity na mag ng awards. And then, it's a very, very tough competition because Yu J Sok is there. In as much as I really want Moon Si Yun to, uh, to win, I think it's gonna be Yu J Sok. Best female entertainer is uh, Kim Sook because I find her so funny. And then, to be honest, hindi ko rin kasi hindi ako familiar sa other uh, competitors niya like um, Song Yuni or Jung Do Yeon and all that. For the best um, supporting actor category, ang best ko is for the best supporting actor category. Um, it's a tight competition with, between uh, Ujong Se and Kim Sun Ho. Pero I feel that Ujong Se will gonna win the Best Supporting Actor because the way he portrayed um, his role in It's Okay to Not Be Okay, it's it's uh, it's a um, once in a lifetime role. It's really believable. He delivered it well, and he is such a very very good actor. While Kim Sun Ho, I really like Kim Sun Ho. Kung hindi man siya manalo ng Best Supporting Actor, I just hope and pray na manalo siya ng Popular Award because he gave justice to his oh, his role as Han Ji Pyong in Startup. Best Supporting Actress is um, Shinon Kyung, yun yung 
prediction ko na mananalo because I watched her in Last Empress. Though Last Empress, hindi naman ito, you know, we, we don't talk about Last Empress. Pero I watched her previous movie and she's a very good actress. Gusto ko yung role niya sa Penthouse na isa sa mga chismosang kapitbahay. And then after that, nag Lilo and then Friends na sila ni Uyunhei. But she's a very good actress. She's underrated but she's a very good actress. And also, her strong contender well, gonna be Jang Hyung Nam of It's Okay to Not Be Okay. So, kung sino man sa kanila yung manalo, I think they deserve it. Sa best new actor naman, it's between uh, Lee Do Yon and um, Song Kang. Though, na, I, I watched Sweet Home and um, uh, ano din din si Lee Do Yon, but between the two of them, I think uh, Lee Do Yon has more projects. Kasi, hindi lang siya nasa Sweet Home, hindi lang siya nasa 18 again. I watched uh, him also in 30 but 17 and he has a lot of uh, uh, variety shows and especially Hotel de Luna, yun yung parang nagkatapot sa kanya to be known in South Korea. So my bet is um, Lido yun. And for the best actress, I think I'm gonna give it to... Um, to Kim So Yeon because Kim So Yeon is a very very good actress. I first watched her in Iris and then I watched her in uh, um, uh, Prosecutor Princess and she is a very very versatile and yung the way she delivers herself parang hindi mo kalain na ganun siya sa tunay na buhay. Na hindi siya ganun sa tunay na buhay. Yung facial expression niya kasi sa penthouse eh iba talaga. Talagang madadala ka maiinis ka. That means to say that she's a very good actress. And lastly, for best actor, it's none other than Kim So Yeon. In as much as I really wanted to uh, for Song Joong Ki to win or Om Ki Joon, I think uh, Kim So Yeon will gonna take home the trophy because, as you all know, Kim So Yeon is not only uh, uh, he's not only a um, good-looking uh, actor, but he is very very talented. Bilis bilis na uh, tumulo ng luha niya. And then, parang the way he delivers himself, the way he acts, parang hindi siya yung parang makakalimutan mo na si Kim Soyeon siya kasi talaga nag-i-immerse siya doon sa role na pinoportray niya. So, yeah, it's between uh, Kim Soyeon, Song Joong Ki, and Um Ki Joon. But I really think na si Kim Soyeon talaga mag-uuwi ng, ng, uh, ng award. And that is just my prediction, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, and comment down below. Thank you for watching. See you next time, and God bless. Bye.